how to add include path in Visual Studio Code. If you're working on a C or C++ project in Visual Studio Code and you're wondering how to add include paths, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to understand that Visual Studio Code uses a configuration file called ccpppproperties.json to manage settings for your C and C++ projects. This file is usually located in the VS Code folder of your project. To add an include path, you need to open or create this ccpppproperties.json file. If it doesn't exist, you can create it by clicking on the light bulb icon that appears when VS Code complains about not finding a header file, and then select Update Include Path Setting. Once you have the file open, you'll see a section called Configurations. Here you can define different configurations for different environments, such as Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. For example, if you're working on a Windows project, your configuration might look something like this. Configurations, name, Win32, include path, workspace folder, slash chot, see path to your include folder. Compiler path, program files x86, Microsoft Visual Studio, community, VC tools, msvc, phone.28.293x64cl.exe, C standard, C17, CPP standards, IntelliSense mode, Windows MSVC x64. Here, the include path section is where you list all the folders that contain the header files your project needs. The DALA workspace folder slash slash notation tells VS Code to search recursively through all subdirectories of your workspace folder. You can add additional paths as needed, like C path to your include folder. It's important to note that the include path is not recursive by default, so if you need to include subfolders, you must specify them explicitly or use the dot notation to indicate a recursive search. Another key point is that system include paths should not be added to the include path or browse.path variables. If you specify system include paths, VS Code will silently remove them to ensure they are added last and in the correct order, especially important for compilers like GCC and Clang. If you're using a specific compiler, make sure to set the compiler path correctly. For instance, if you're using GCC for ARM development, you would set it to something like slap slash toolchains slash gcc dash arm dash none ea by dash 10 dot 3 2021 dot 10 bin arm none abby gcc. By setting up your include path correctly in the ccpppproperties.json file, you ensure that VS Code's IntelliSense can find all the necessary header files, providing you with features like syntax highlighting, error checking, and automatic code completion. So to sum it up, adding an include path in Visual Studio Code involves creating or editing the ccpppproperties.json file, specifying the necessary include paths in the include path section, and ensuring that your compiler path is set correctly. This will help you avoid errors and make your coding experience smoother.